Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, we are going to look at uh, initial outray, uh, intermediate cash flows or operating cash flows, and terminal cash flows. And then after we are going to look at also the discounting techniques of appraisal, and that is NPV. Uh, NPV stands for net present value. Uh, profitability index or PI, I ala ala, the same as the same as uh, internal rate of return, but we are going to use Excel this time round. And by the way, if you want to access more tutorials, you can go on YouTube and search for Simplified Academic Tutorials Yogi. There is a lot of content there. Please, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share, and comment. Uh, without wasting time, uh, we are going to follow this question. Uh, this is the question. I've tr I tried to summarize, to summarize it. Going to summarize it, uh, and let's first look at the question. Masiko Enterprises Limited, a newly established business organization, is considering an investment in machinery equipment. The company contracted a group of BCom students to conduct a study aimed at ascertaining whether a decision to invest would be feasible or not, and it paid a USD uh, 500, 500,000 for this study. So when we are determining the initial initial outray. So initial outray, the same as the initial investment. In other words, those are costs or those are cash outflows and inflows that occurs before the project starts. So I think here, this study they're talking about, we call it a feasibility study. And, and it is under some costs. Uh, some costs we know that they are ignored because they are historical in nature. There, there are many examples of some costs apart from uh, feasibility study. There is uh, advertising, uh, there is sales promotion, uh, there is also research among others. Okay, so let's continue. The students proposed that the company should use a loan to finance the acquisition of the asset worth uh, 3 million USD from DFCU Bank. So these people, uh, the, the BCOM students, uh, suggested that uh, Masiko Enterprises to finance, this, to finance their project, they should obtain a loan of 3 million with an interest rate of 7.5% per annum. The study recommended that other costs like insurance, installation and inspection costs, which are estimated to be as follows respectively, uh, be met by the company. So we know insurance fees and uh, it is under incidental costs, insurance also under incidental costs, and the inspection costs also incidental costs. By the way, incidental costs, those are costs that are directly attached to the, what? To the machine or to the asset. Okay, so let's continue with our question. It is estimated that the equipment will be sold at the end of the project. The end of the fifth year for the for USD 1.5 million and a government incentive of 20,000 USD. So here they have said it is estimated that the equipment will be sold at the end of the project. So that is uh, that will be the salvage value of the what of the asset of 1.5 million, the salvage or the scrap value 
all the book value after depreciating. Okay. Let's continue. Masiko Enterprises, Enterprise Limited, has perfected the design of high tech can open and is now considering whether to go into production. That's not so relevant. The following informa the following information has been has been gathered. Part A: estimates of annual units of output are ten thousand up to up to ten thousand for the years one to five respectively. The selling price will be uh, one fifty USD per unit in years one and two and then expected to increase at five percent per annum up to the fifth year okay meaning uh, here to get uh, the total revenue for each year we shall multiply uh, the units of output times the selling price of 150 in year one and year five then plus that that increment of 5% in year 3, year 4, and year 5. Okay. So let's continue with, the, with our question. Uh, variable production costs per year are expected to be as follows. Uh, material costs of 40,000 USD. So uh, these are operating costs operating costs we take it we take them under intermediate uh, cash flows and then part D the farmers annual fixed costs in bracket excluding depreciation are expected to be 15,000 USD it's now as a consequence of the project so this fixed fixed costs are also under are also under intermediate and then depreciation is on straight line basis so we are going to calculate depreciation using excel but the method we are going to use it is straight line method okay the rate of corporation tax is 33 percent so we have gotten the tax the 33 percent are payable every year in areas uh, to pay in areas it means uh, to pay uh, in the grade what period okay and the real costs and the real cost of capital is eight percent so so this is the farmers required rate of return sometimes they can bring it directed at RR is eight percent or they can say they waited uh, Weighted average cost of capital it is eight percent. Yeah, they can bring it in that way. Just know that is ala ala. We use it when we are getting the what? When you're getting NPV uh, plus I R R. Okay. So in other words, the cost of capital or ala ala, it is uh, it is our discounting factor our discounting factor required determine the following relevant cash flows uh number number one cash outflows uh initial outlay or it is the same as the initial investment then number number two intermediate cash flows and terminal cash flows intermediate cash flows for them they occur when the business is operating or when the pro the project uh is in what is active then terminal cash flows for them they occur uh, at the what at the end year or the final year of that project so for example this project is it has a useful life of five years so uh that i mean there are those cash flows that will occur in the what in the fifth year okay then part b update the project using npv ir -R and pi okay that's our task for today uh i tried to to summarize this question to 
so that we can save time okay I have here the input area voice value the loan the interest among others so I think we should go straight to that to our initial initial outray initial outray let me board it okay so here you can you can put you can do it like this here details let it start from here sorry initial 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 outrage or initial investment okay let's continue here you can put details the format to open open we know the format of the the format the format of initial outrage amount it is in USD you can put two columns or you can use one column amount and it is and it is and it and it is and it looks professional when you specify uh, the currency you're using so this time round we are going to use USD according to the question It, it it starts with the invoice value so to save time I have it here already so i'm going to just do it like this equal sign the value in this cell to come automatic automatically uh then the invoice value its amount is i'm going to put in the last column so that i can be organized okay i'm going to change the currency after don't mind i'm going to change it okay invoice value and then and then after invoice value we can add our incidental costs add incidental costs incidental costs i said we have uh, insurance fees are totaling to totaling to 2,000 to 250,000 I'm going to change the currency don't mind okay uh, then there's also installation and then it's amounting to 350,000 and then also there is inspection costs totaling to totaling to eight hundred thousand. Okay, in fact, let me change the currents from here. I don't want the small presses. I want it to zero the small presses. So I go to number. I don't want this the small presses. Let me them then currents I want to use this so you got here you go here on symbol and then you try you try type you and then let me check on the drop down here down is here okay where is it is here USD then I press okay okay I've changed let's continue then you are going to get the total total incidental incidental costs i'm going to put the, the total here on the last column in the last column so it's going to be you can add it you can add in your own way so i'm going to just use some into bracket i'm going to highlight from here 
and then I close. So that is the total. That is the, the total of incidental costs. Uh, let me format my cells. Uh, I don't want the small presses. Occurrence. I want USD. USD. Okay. Let's move. After after get after getting the total incidental costs, then. We are going to list the. We are going to list the government incentives. List government incentives. Okay, let me max. Let me increase the space. Okay, so I'm going to list. What the total incentives it is? Let me check in the question. Uh, incentives were it is twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Okay. Twenty thousand. Assuming we have in the question, we have the market value. Of an old equipment, so we can raise it also. Uh, assuming we had, assuming we have uh, a decrease in working capital, you can also raise it or you can subtract it. Assuming we have an increase in working capital, you add it on your initial outlay. So I think we are supposed to be knowing that what. The format of the initial outlay. In case you don't know, uh, there is a video on my YouTube channel. Okay, then you are going to get the total total initial outlay. So it's going to be cosine uh, this. Let me use brackets this plus total, total incidental costs and then minus 10,000 hope we are clear and we are at the same place let me format my source change currents don't want the small places USD according to the question. Okay, let's move. So we are done with our initial outre. So we, so we are going to move straight to straight to intermediate cash flows. So before that, before intermediate cash flows, according to this question, uh my school enterprise is supposed to be uh, paying interest uh, to the to DFCU bank uh, each year, so we are required to construct uh, a loan amortization schedule for that case for us to be able. Okay, so. Hope we know how to construct it. Loan, loan, amortization. Um, such that you can come up with uh, interest. Loan amortization schedule. We are going to build it. So it's going to be the format. The format is going to be like a this period. Uh, PMT. PMT stands for periodic payment. 
and then uh, we should know the interest interest uh, cumulative cumulative interests principal principal it is what you paid without interest then we should we, sh we are required to have the what the accumulated uh, principal hope that is the spelling okay and then the outstanding balance after paying what is the balance remaining outstanding balance okay so that's going to be our schedule so we need according to the demand we need uh, the period the period is just five years so we are going to start with the zero year that the period when you have just obtained the loan that's the zero year then up to fifth year we need the pmt we need the interest the material interest so so let's first get pmt uh in the zero year there is no payment there's no interest there's no cumulative interest there's no principle there's no cumulative principle and uh, your loan still stands to be to be uh, three million okay so let's get the pmt 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 is going to be equal sign uh, equal sign it is inbuilt in excel uh, let me just double tap uh, PMT, this is the format rate, rate it is 7.5, uh, comma, number of payments, it is 5 years, uh, comma, present value, that's the amount of the loan you obtained, so it's going to be reducing after paying each year, so, I'm going to put a negative and then you can close then let me press enter I don't want percentages let me let me try to format my cells don't want even the small places uh, currents I want it USD okay so this is the periodic payment the amount of money you're going to be paying uh, each year up to the, uh, up to the what to the period of five years so we expect you to settle your dot your debt or the your loan to zero point zero zero okay so we we have the pmt so the first year going to be cosine uh, the value in this cell press enter so i want it to be constant so i'm going to fix it or drop it by putting a dollar sign so that it can be constant then let me press enter and try to drag up to okay then the interest is going to be equal sign the outstanding balance times the interest rate which is 7.5 percent where is it interest rate seven percent okay that is the so this is the what this is the interest be paid in our what in first year okay so i'm going to rock it uh the i'm going to rock the interest because it's going to be fixed it's going to be constant
okay so don't mind about those zeros they will change automatically it's going to be cosine to get the cumulative or the cumulated interest equal sign I want the first figure to be the same so to get the, the next going to be this the value in that cell uh, plus that one don't mind they will change okay let's go to principal principal it is what you paid without interest so it's going to be equal sign a PMT minus the interest okay let me try to run it to drag okay accumulative interest I want that I want this figure to be the same then the next one to be this plus that okay and then the outstanding balance is going to be this minus the principal so let me drag things are going to change I think okay so you can see we have settled our what our our loan to zero zero in the fifth year. in the fifth year so when 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 you see that uh, on the on the closing balance in the final year when it is not zero just no uh, you, you, your schedule it is wrong okay yeah that is it so let's go to our intermediate intermediate cash flows intermediate cash flows we should be knowing the format so it starts with 11 okay sorry it starts with period period you start with zero uh, then uh, one two three four and then five that is the the life of the project it is five years okay okay the zero year that's the period before uh that project what uh, start okay so this it starts with revenue eleven eleven so in the zero year we have only the what we have uh, the cash outflow so to show that it is just the cash outflow it's going to be cosine then you put a negative and then you tap on the what on the initial outflow so that is it okay so according to this question uh, they have told us that estimates of annual units of output are like this 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 30,000, then 20,000 for years 1 to 5. The selling price will be USD uh, 115 per unit in years 1 and 2. Then expected to increase. Okay, so we are, we are going to first get the the selling price and then we multiply like I said so they have told us I tried to summarize it it is here so they have told us uh, they have told us that in the in the first year it is 150 the selling price then the second year it is also 150 then it is expected to increase in the last three years so it's going to be like this we are going to first get that increment and then we add on the previous in other words it's going to be like this then then you use brackets like this time z 
uh, 5% that increment is in percentage. Five uh, percent is the same as 0 0.05 times 0 0.05. Then I cross. Then I'm going to add plus the previous one. Okay. So this is the increment. So they they have told us that it's going to be increasing by five percent. Uh, Anna, uh, yeah. So, this is not going to be constant. It's going to, to vary, but the the, the increment is, is the same. Way. Hope you are getting me. Let me use brackets. That times zero point zero five, and then plus. 157.5 okay then this one is going to be equal sign let me use brackets 165 times 0 0.05 plus 165.375 okay so this is the selling price so it means to get the a total sales is going to be uh, it's going to be unit uh, units unit of uh, units of output times the selling price okay to get the total sales what total or total revenue okay uh, meaning I'm going to multiply. Uh, let's start. It's going to be equal sign. Uh, equal sign. Uh, this times that one. Okay. Then the next one. It's going to be the unit uh, the units of output then times the selling price okay the same the third year up to up to fifth year that one times the selling price then the fourth year it's going to be equal sign Uh, this times 165 point something something then the fifth year it's going to be equal sign but sometimes sometimes revenue uh, it is very clear okay we continue assuming uh, in the question that was that there is a cost savings we, we, we are like we are supposed to to add it on our revenue so so we don't have we don't have cost saving cost savings by the way it means that it means reductions uh, in the cost of a farm as a result of what new project assuming you have been using a manual system and then you upgrade you, you upgrade to capitalized uh, some costs will reduce yeah those are cost savings so in the question they can say uh, material costs are expected to reduce by this at uh, by an amount per annum just know those are what those are cost savings so you you add them on your what on your level so if we don't have so in this case we don't have what a cost saving so I'm going to raise uh, the operating operating costs operating costs in operating costs we have material costs see where are they Uh, we have material costs material costs 
and then there is also uh, wages no wages and then what else variable overheads variable variable overheads and then there's also fixed costs okay they are going to be constant uh, that they are going to be the same A period of what five years then what is the figure for material costs material cost it, it is forty thousand it is forty thousand so it is forty thousand equal sign uh, then the value the value in this cell okay it's going to be the same I'm going to rock it such that it can be constant then let me drag okay let's go to wages equal sign uh, the value for wages it is what uh, it is 28,000 it's also going to be constant let me rock it by putting a dollar sign let me just drag okay Variable overheads. What is the figure for variable over overheads? Uh, where is it? Variable it is ten thousand. Okay. Ah, sorry. Let me first lock it. Okay. Then this equal sign. Uh, what's the figure for fixed costs? Hope these things are now easy. What's the figure? It's fifteen thousand. Okay, let me rock it. Okay. Okay, let's move. So we are going to, to do it like this to get earnings. Okay. Earnings before interest, depreciation, and tax. Earnings before interest, depreciation, and tax. So it's going to be like this. Hmm? 11 minus uh, the total of the total of, of of operating costs so it's going to be like this uh, equal sign 11 minus the total uh, it's going to be like this sum let me use sum sum of Top, sorry. Let me open the brackets. Some of these I cross. Okay. 
11 minus total operating costs eh? to be the earnings before interest interest uh, depreciation and tax Okay, let's move. Let's go to less risk interest, less interest, interest. Is that the spelling? No. We are going to less interest. Now it is clear. So we are, we are going to generate it from our loan amortization schedule. So the column for interest it is here. It is here. Okay, that is the column. So to get the interest, I, was, uh, I said it, it was uh, outstanding balance uh, times times the, the interest rate it is seven point five percent. Okay, then the second one it was like this this times uh, 7.5%. Okay, this one also the same equal sign. Mm. What is the the outstanding balance is one point nine two eight blah blah then times seven point five percent okay Hope we are together equal sign the outstanding balance then times times seven point five percent our interest rate Cosine uh, cosine this times zero point um, first rate. Let me see. It's like there is a mistake. Let, let me see critically. Uh, this this this. This mm -hmm. times seven point five percent. Okay, so that is the interest. Now we are, we are going to raise it, and then we get earnings before depreciation and the tax. So after raising, okay, now we have uh, we are, we, are, we are going to get earnings. For depreciation and tax it's going to be equal sign uh, earnings before interest the de interest depreciation tax minus the interest like that okay now things are flowing okay uh, let's continue now we are going to list depreciation this is dep depreciation so they have they told us that uh, depreciation uh, we are going to use the the method called uh, straight line method according to the question so it's, so it's very simple and by the way if your needs uh, 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 you need to know how to Calculate the methods of depreciation. Uh, to calculate depreciation using different methods, you can go to my platform, my YouTube channel. Yeah, there is that tutorial for all depreciation methods. 
so this is going to be a cosine straight line is also in but sln okay hmm straight line vertical traits for cost salvage and life cost it is uh, we take the uh, we take where is it okay we take uh, so so it's going to be how deep our 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 cost is it's going to be your, it's going to be invoice value and then we add the extent of costs uh, to get the uh, that depreciable value or the cost of the what the total cost of the of the equipment i forgot to put the that the column for that total it was supposed to be here. Uh, let me insert it. I put it where? Let me put it. Let me put it there. Okay. It's called that depreciable. Depreciable depreciable value or the total cost of the machine depreciable value I forgot to put it so it's going to be equal sign the invoice value plus the total incidental cost say. okay so let's move let's move to depreciation start with the first year equal sign straight line method is abbreviated as sln cost we take that depreciable value of 4.4 .4 million then we put a comma then salvage uh, salvage according to the question they told us that it is 1.5 yes 1.5 and then comma life it is five years it's five life let me see First delete. I'm not sure whether I've tapped on the right thing. Salvage. Let me first recap again. Salvage. It is 1.5. Yes. And then life. It's five years. Five years. Okay. Things are okay, so I'm going to lock all because uh, for straight line the depreciation value doesn't change, like the word straight line, the depreciation is constant, it is fixed. So I'm going to lock it by putting a dollar sign. That's how we lock cells. Let me lock it. You can press F4. But for some machines, it doesn't work, so I have to put it manually. So this is the depreciation value. Okay. Um, I'll format the cell. I'll, I'll format. I'll format the what? The currents. Okay. So after getting depreciation and release it, we are going to get earnings before tax going to be equal sign uh, earnings before depreciation tax and then minus that the depreciation value okay let me drag oh. 
then we are going to less less tax okay less tax less tax charge it on the earnings before earnings before tax they have told us that the tax pass the tax percentage uh, it is uh, the tax rate it is 33 percent so it's so it's it's going to be this uh, earnings before tax you can sign earnings before tax and then times mm, times 33 percent 3% fact to save time let me put it here tax rate eh. let me see when I have it there in my summarized okay it is there okay no worries you can sign uh, earnings before tax and then time was uh, the tax rate is that a 3 percent the three percent so it is going to be constant that pass that tax percentage okay let me fix it uh, let me try to drag okay after this syntax uh, we are going to to add back a depreciation so depreciation provides a tax shield that's why we add it back we're going to add back add back depreciation depreciation we say depreciation so it is equal sign straight line method in fact let me just rock it uh, it's going to be equal sign the value in this cell Let me lock it. Let me just lock it. And I drag up. Okay, it is clear. Now, uh, by the way, I forgot to raise. So immediately after this, after be, before get before adding depreciation, we are supposed to get. Uh, earnings after tax here so after uh, it's going to be earnings before depreciation then minus tax things are okay no worries and then we add back depreciation hope i'm not confusing you after adding depreciation we are going to get the total Operating cost or total intermediate 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 cash flows cash flows okay so let me, let me add. Uh, earnings after tax is going to be earnings cosine earnings after tax and then plus uh, depreciation okay and then remember we have also to get that intermediate cash flows mm -hmm. according to this question there is no working capital recovered but there is salvage if salvage is zero just ignore and check whether there is working capital recovered okay yeah, we are going to add uh, salvage but salvage, uh, by the way, I said terminal cash flows for them, they occur in the, what, in the final year. So they are supposed to be in the what? In the fifth year only. 
going to this uh, this first fork, but the fifth year, the eighth year. So those are terminal cash flows. So to get the salvage, let me put the formula here. Uh, where can I put it? Uh, let me put it somewhere here. So it is like this. Salvage. Salvage. Uh, salvage. Salvage after tax equals. Uh, equals salvage. Uh, before tax into two bracket one minus t. I'm going to explain these variables. So, so this one. Hmm? So we are we are looking for salvage after tax after adding tax. Then the salvage it is the one we have. Uh, which is 1.5 the one which is given the question and then we have to subtract the what the tax rate which is 33 percent okay yeah. so this is the formula for getting the salvage okay let's go to uh -huh. our salvage i said it is equal say Cosine uh, salvage cosine where is my salvage? Salvage it is here 1.5. Uh -huh. I say it into bracket 1 minus 33% or 0 0.33 three. I close the brackets. Press enter. Okay, what's the problem? Okay, I'm supposed to multiply here. Multiply. Enter. Okay. So this this is the salvage. Okay. So after getting the salvage, uh, I'm going to get the cash flows. Cash. Operators cash flows. Okay, it's going to be cosine uh, this plus the terminal to get cash flows in each period. So now we are here. Uh, so we are done with our task for getting, uh, for getting the initial tray, uh, intermediate cash flows, cash, then terminal cash flows. Now let's go to NPV, PI, and IRR. These things are so is so is. So let me draw my cut table here. Uh, I'm going to put here. A tool. Uh, it is the same as technique. Technique. Uh, we are going to use NPV. I R R. Okay. Let's start. Let's go with PI. Then I R R. Okay. And then here. We can have the result and then here the decision rule decision rule mm -hmm. let me try to put my catable in a watch let me put it in what in borders. Uh, let me board it first. Okay, I'll put borders after. No worries. So let's start with uh, NPV. NPV we know it is present value of cash inflows minus the present value of cash 
outflows okay so it's also inbuilt so you try to put eco sign uh, type npv is also inbuilt it is here let me double click and then the rate uh, the rate I said we use the discounting rate they have told us the cost of capital is 8% which is the R, 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 the required rate of return okay that is it and then we put a comma then here value 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 then we are going to highlight uh, from uh, our cash flows from here up to the fifth one from zero up to the what to the fifth one and then it close then this is our npv the net present value don't you see that things are now too easy okay uh, let me change the currents. Want it to USD. Then let's go to uh, profitability index. The word index okay? meaning we have to divide something. Okay, so profitability index it is like this by formula. It is present value of cash inflows and uh, then divide by present value of cash outflows. Present value of cash inflows are here. We have gotten the cash flows are here. These are cash inflows. Mm -hmm. Then the initial outlay, well, the initial investment that is the what? The cash outflow. So it is going to be like this equal sign present value of cash inflows divided by present value of cash outflows. Hope it makes some sense. Equal sign. Mm -hmm. Let me highlight from here. Okay, sorry. Uh, let me first put uh, PI. It's also in built. Then I'm going to highlight from here. Then divide by opt opt to go it. Huh? Then let me see whether it's going to work. What could be the problem? Okay, let me first highlight from here without dividing from here up to here and then. Uh, then I tap on the last one, the initial outlay, and I see whether it's going to work. Then let me close and I see. Like this, I put brackets. Uh, right from here up to here, and then I divide by by the initial outlay. Hey, what's the problem? P I uh, times PI values accurate okay mm -hmm. let me see We shall see this after let's go to 
I ala ala then rate of re uh, return uh, I ala ala uh, for this it uses guesswork and then let me highlight uh, flow from here up to there then guess so so it is 33 uh, the required letter of return is 33 by the way uh, we shall see these techniques uh, after. Okay, thank you for watching.